in my previous lecture we have solved many problems with regard to the properties of systems when uh, in input and output relationship are uh, given in a question now continuing with the same here we have y of n that is output represented by a transformation on input x of n and that is given by n into x of n so the transformation which took place is by a multiplication by a factor n now uh, solving different properties i mean properties of a system first one would be the linearity property so as we know from the basics linearity property is if input is weighted sum of two or more signals output is the response to individual signal again the weighted sum of response to individual signals so if you have x of n the transformation on x of n would be y of n so if you have input as a x1 of n plus b x2 of n i need to replace x of n by this value that is n into a x1 of n plus b x2 of n now this i can, this can be written as a n into x1 of n plus b n into x2 of n now a into n into x1 of n is nothing but if you have x of n as a input you get y of n if you have x1 of n as a input you get y1 of n similarly here you get y2 of n so if input is a weighted sum of two or more signals then output is weighted sum of responses to the individual signals so this property is satisfied hence the system is linear second one is time invariance now the property of time invariance states that if there is a shift in the input shift in the input by an amount n not and the transformation on it if a transformation is taken on uh, the shifted input then there should be identical shift at the output as well now taking left hand side transformation on x of n minus n not i would be getting i have just shifted my input by amount n not so i would be getting n into x of n minus n not whereas right hand side if i take y of n minus n not is wherever y of n is this so wherever n you have i, I need to replace it by n minus n not so it would be n minus n not into x of n minus n not now these two are not same hence the system is not time invariant so i can write it as time variant system now coming to the third property that is causality now system is said to be causal if output at one instant depends upon input at the same instant or the past instant now if i take y of 1 if i substitute it here y of 1 is 1 into x of 1 that is in output at present instant that is 1 depends upon the input at the same instant 1 y of 2 is 2 into x of 2 output at instant 2 depends upon input at instant 2 and if i take past values minus 1 that is minus 1 x of minus 1 so the output at any instant depends upon the input at the same instant hence the system is causal the catch point for causal causality non uh, for the system to be called as non causal is if output at one instant depends upon the input at future instant so that is not the case here so the system is causal next is memory a system is said to have memory if output at one instant depends upon input at past instant or future instant but not the present instant but as we can see here output at one instant depends upon the input at the same instant right that is that was a property for causality or that was a necessary and sufficient condition for a system to be called as causal system but it is not the case for a system to have memory so the system here is memoryless now coming to the stability part now system is 
said to be bible stable if bounded input gives bounded output so bounded input means i am bounding i mean i am restricting x of n that my in input has to be less than infinity so any value bx which is less than infinity now i need to check whether my output is bounded or output is finite or not y of n is equal to mod of n and mod of x of n so this is bounded but this is unbounded this can go to infinity so y of n also can go to infinity hence the system is unstable system so the input output relationship of the system mentioned here that is y of n is equal to n into x of n that is transformation on x of n is linear time variant or not time invariant causal memoryless and unstable in nature now the next question here the input output relationship is mentioned as square of input is equal to the output that is uh, the transformation done on input uh, you get input square that means if you give x of t to the system uh, you will get the square of it at the output <clears throat> now different properties one is uh, linearity so we know the working procedure a x1 of t plus b x2 of t that is weighted if input is weighted sum of two or more signals output also should be the weighted sum of responses to individual signals now if i replace x of t by this value i get a x1 of t plus b x2 of t that is x of t i am replacing it by this value and the square of it which is but what we are supposed to get on the right hand side if input is given like this is a into y1 of t plus b into y2 of t here what i would be getting is a square x1 of t square plus b square x2 of t square plus 2 ab x1 of t x2 of t these two are not same i should have got a into y1 of t is x square x1 square of t plus b into x2 square of t but these two are not same so this condition is not satisfied hence it is a hence it is non linear system now coming to the time invariance property so it says that if there is a shift in the input there should be corresponding shift in the output y of t minus t not input is x of t and y output is y of t now taking the left hand side t of x of t minus t not that means i am shifting my input by amount t not so i would be getting x square of t minus t not again y of t minus t not is substitute in place of t you substitute it as t minus t not so i get x square of t minus t not these two are same again so if there is a shift in the input there is a corresponding shift in the output as well so the system is time invariant system now the third one is causality causality and from the definition of causality we know that output at one instant should depend upon the input at the same or the pre previous instance or past instance but not the future instance so if i put the value of t y of 1 will be x square of 1 y of 0 will be x square of 0 that means output at one instant depends upon the input at the same instant so the system is causal in nature next one is the memory when it comes to the memory the from the definition we know that a system is said to have memory if output at one instant depends upon the input at past or future instance but not the current instant or present instant but here you can see output at one instant present instant depends upon the input at the same instant here also it holds good so it doesn't dip, the output at one instant doesn't depend upon the input at past or future instance so the system is said to be 
memoryless the last one is stability now it is again bounded input bounded output stability now i will bound my input that means i'll assume that my input is bounded that is bx which is less than infinity now i am checking whether my output is bounded bound modulus of y of t is modulus of x square of t now since x of t is less than infinity obviously x square of t should also be less than infinity so this will be some value by which is less than infinity so for a bounded input we got bounded output hence it is the system is stable in nature so the system represented by input output relationship given by y of t is equal to x square of t is non linear time invariant causal memoryless and stable the problem mentioned here is uh, denoting the input and output relationship by a sign function the sign of input is equal to output that is the transformation happening on input is sign of the input now coming to the properties first is linearity property um, as you already know it is weighted sum of in two or more inputs so i need to replace x of t by the weighted sum of two or more signals so it would be sin a x1 of t plus b x2 of t now when input is weighted sum of two signals then output should be the weighted sum of responses to individual signals that means i should be getting output as a into y1 of t plus b into y2 of t where y1 of t is a sin x1 of t plus b sin x2 of t whereas what i am getting here is sin a plus b it would be sin a sin b plus cos a cos b so these two are not same hence the system is non linear coming to the second part it is time invariance now the shift in the input that is x of t minus t not if there is a shift in the input there should be corresponding shift in the output so if i shift my input by amount t not what i would be getting is sin of x of t minus t not and output y of t minus t not is i am replacing t wherever i have t i am replacing it by t minus t not so i will be getting sin of x of t minus t not now these two this is a necessary and sufficient condition for a system to be called as time invariant so these two are equal so left hand side is equal to right hand side hence the system is time invariant invariant now coming to the third property that is causality so we already know that a system is said to be causal if output at one instant depends upon the input at the same instant now output at that instant one is sin of x of 1 so output at t is equal to 1 is sin of x of 1 so output at one instant depends upon the input at the same instant hence it is a causal system when do you, when do we say that it is a non causal system when output at one instant should depend upon the input at the future instant but that is not the case here so system is causal now coming to the memory part of uh, the system a system is said to have memory if the output at one instant depends upon the input at the previous instance or the past instant but not the current instant see as we can see here this is a present instant one this is also a current this is also input at the same instant so this is not the necessary and sufficient condition for a system to be called as memory memory system or the system having memory so this is a memoryless system now final one is 
pivo stability now i i'll bound my input that is is equal to some number which is less than infinity now input is bounded let me check whether output is bounded or not y of t is sin of mod of x of t see this is bounded x of t is bounded that means it is less than infinity and sin of any value would fluctuate from minus 1 to plus 1 the maximum value of sine wave is plus 1 and minimum value is minus 1 so obviously my output will also be bounded so the system is stable because when input is bounded if output is also bounded then the system is said to have bio stability now the system which is mentioned here by input output relationship given by y of t is equal to sine of x of t is nonlinear time invariant causal memoryless and stable so i have solved um, many varieties of uh, problems under uh, properties of systems now in the next videos i'll be solving some more problems just by inspection method since we are well aware of uh, the procedure as in how to solve these problems, I will be doing solving some more problems but by inspection method. So please tune into it. Thank you.